Because you are that, you are capable. You are gifted, and you are so unique. All of the things that you may hate about yourself are your strengths. It's okay to be soft. It's okay to be opinionated. It's okay to be different. And it's so okay to just be The world awaits to receive you. Bitch, I'm back. I'm popular the man. Bitch, I'm back. I'm popular the man. Bitch, I'm back. I'm popular the man. Now you know I was gonna do it because I know that's annoying for some people, and I love it. Yes, I'm back. Happy New Year. Yes, you're here with Grace Levi coming in differently, different, differently different this new year. Yes, I'm excited. I hope let's get into Clayton County. You know, I gotta talk about Clayton County. Let's talk about it so I can have another thing to, sh to share on my series when I release about Fulton County and Clayton County. This local news brought to you by 11 um, Alive in Atlanta. Inmate tries to escape Clayton County Jail and HVAC. How stupid could you f fucking be? Yo, he could have died. Who the fuck does this? This is this this is the education system. Let's go. 11 and only on 11 Alive, it started with a scream from a Clayton County inmate stuck inside a jail wall. Yeah, Sheriff LaVon Allen says that this man tried to escape through the HVAC system. And now he's putting new security measures in place to help keep this from happening again. 11 Alive's Don White sat down exclusively with Sheriff LaVon Allen for the details. <laughs> What happened inside the walls of the Clayton County Jail even took Sheriff LaVon Allen by surprise. This is just unbelievable. Wait, that young man. Wait, can we stop for one second? What the fuck is this? Is this a shower? This better not be a shower. What's this, y'all? That's the hole? That's the phone thing? That better be a phone thing. If it's a shower, I'm, I feel some way. I just want to know what that is, y'all, because... I was watching some video and it was like a, a a one thing shower and the guy had died like he got boiled in the shower. Girl, you y'all know I be watching that stuff. So what's that? That's a phone booth. I know they don't got the phone booths out like that. Let's play. It. So the Clayton County Jail even took Sheriff Levon Allen by surprise. This is just unbelievable. That young man did something that nobody has done in 24 years. A security guard and deputy were confused by what they heard. They heard some uh, banging and, they, had, and they, they didn't know if it was just an inmate just banging on the window because they saw them. And then, of course, then they start hearing uh, screams for help. Sheriff Allen says that inmate busted a 24 year old lock. And then once you get into this door, now you're into uh, the actual walls and the plumbing chase of the building. And this was where they were able to climb in, climb through, and then channel out to the other side. The inmate made it all the way to here, where the HVAC system goes to the outside of the jail. Had he gotten out of the HVAC system, he would have been in our yard. And then the only thing that would have, would have kept him in from the yard would have been the uh, single fence that we have up. Sheriff Allen plans to put new locks on plumbing chase doors like that one there to make it harder for inmates to try to pry them open with objects such as shanks. The sheriff is putting another improvement in place to make it harder for inmates to escape. Now we need to make uh, security measures to where we uh, place a cage or a grate on the outside of the um, the HVAC system. Allen says he takes the attempted escape seriously and wants to keep the public safe. I have 1,900 inmates uh, in this jail. I have over 400 that are here for murder. Um, so, of course, we don't want to one of those inmates to get out and uh, be out into the community. Allen will ask for $300,000 in funding to replace locks in the entire jail. When they applied pressure, it just broke the actual shank and not broke the lock. In hopes of preventing more inmates from trying to make a bold escape. It's All right, so I just wanted to show y'all what's going on out here in these Atlanta streets. Atlanta is turning into Jersey, I tell you, Jersey turned up. It was demon time before I left there when it comes to these gangs and stuff. But these people ain't got no damn sense. 
Did, did he ever lay out of the building? That shit was dangerous. I'm close to phobic. I, I wouldn't know where the fuck to go. Then he got all the way out, almost out, and then he was stuck. You ain't had no damn. You ain't have enough tools, you big fool. So now you got the now you got the city talking about we need three hundred that three thousand three hundred thousand dollars more to put uh gates and things over this. I don't think that's a good idea to put gates over that, honestly. I think that's gonna be more dangerous, personally, because these inmates are already finding things to make weapons. So that's stupid to me. You know what I'm saying? Um, update the locks, get more security guards. Well, they are, you know what they call corrections officers, you know, straighten up the place a little bit, keep the inmate busy, maybe have some programs for them, you know what I'm trying to get them looking forward to going out but having some type of skill instead of trying to go out and do some bullshit. But I'm going to move forward. Would you like to learn a brand new and innovative way to invest your extra money that has a low barrier to entry and low competition? What if I told you that it is a guaranteed method to get up to 18 to 20% return on your investment? Tax lien and deed purchasing is the only way to get into the real estate market through the back door. No credit and no loans needed. This method isn't commonly taught and therefore the competition is very low for now. Put together a 14 hour info packed course which will teach you everything you'll need to know to get started. Learn at your own pace, step by step, guided video and aids to start you on the TLC deed investment process. The course offers many learning tools for new investors helping ensure you safely invest in tax liens and deeds. Contact us today and join the buyback team.